Hello everyone, I'm Swapna Shetty. In this video, we are going to see the basic control statements which are available in Java, like if else statements and looping statements like while, do while, for, and so on. So, what is basically a statement? A statement, a Java statement, is nothing but it's the smallest unit that is a complete instruction in itself. So, generally, statements contain expressions and end with a semicolon. So there are uh, two most commonly used statements. Those are nothing but sequential statements and the control statements. Sequential statements are the statements that are executed one by one. Whereas control statements are executed randomly and repeatedly. For example, if I write something like system.out.println hello and x equals to y plus z and system.out.println x. So these statements are executed by JVM one by one in a sequential manner. So they are called sequential statements. But this type of sequential execution is useful only to write simple programs. If we want to write better and complex programs, we need better control on the flow of execution. And this is possible using control statements. So control statements are nothing but these are the statements which alter the flow of execution and provide better control to the programmer on the flow of execution useful to write better and complex programs so we will see the difference between statement and loop statement is nothing but single time execution from top to bottom like we have if else switch break continue and return statements in java whereas loop represents the repeated execution of several statements like do while while and for. So let us see what is if else statement. If else statement is performs a task depending on whether a condition is true or false. So the basic syntax is if condition then statements else statements too. Like if the condition is true then statements 1 are executed. If the condition is false then statements 2 are executed. The statements or the wordings represented in square brackets represents they are optional. For example, of an if else statement is to test whether a number is positive or negative. So let's see how do we write this basic simple examples. So for that we need Eclipse ID. So we have already created a sample project. So just right click on the project and select a class within the package called com.educators and I would name the cla uh, class name as demo with public static void main. So now how do we write this is basically to test if a number is positive or negative. So for that, write an if statement like I for I need a variable for declaration of number. So int num is a variable. So I would declare a negative value for it. int num equals to minus five. So I write something like if num equals to zero, then print number is 0 else if num is greater than 0 then print number is positive else print the number is negative. So, so the number is declared as minus 5. So since it is a negative number, let's see what output do we get. So run on Java application, we can see the number is negative. Why? Because first initially, num will be initialized to minus 5. 
and this condition is checked here. So minus 5 is not equals to 0. So condition is false. So it won't execute this particular statement and it will move to the next if else if statements. So here again the condition, second condition is checked. If num is greater than 0 or not. If it is not, then if it is equal greater than 0, then this statement is printed. But it is not greater than 0. So final else block is executed and number is negative is printed on the console. So this is how we write a simple if else statement. So coming back to the PPT. So we have different variations of if else like we have else if ladder, nested if and so on. So this one is else if ladder like uh, here if we are saying if condition 1 statements 1, else if condition 2 statements 2 else if condition 3 statements 3 else statements 4 that is here first the condition 1 is checked if it is true statements 1 are executed if the condition 1 is false then condition 2 is tested if condition 2 is true then statements 2 are executed if condition 2 is false then next condition 3 is tested if condition 3 is true then statements 3 is executed if it is false statements 4 are executed and another variation of if else is nested if like if condition 1 is true then condition 2 is tested if condition 2 is also true then condition 3 is tested and if all the three conditions are true then statements 1 are executed if condition 3 is false then statements 2 is executed if condition 2 is false statements 3 is executed if condition 1 itself is false then the final statements four are executed. Next is do while loop. So loop is nothing but it repeatedly executes a group of statements as long as the condition is true. So the syntax of do while is do followed by flower braces and then the statements within this do while statements and then while condition. So simple example of do while is to display numbers from 1 to 10. So let's see how do we write this. So I'm just commenting if else here. So for commenting all the lines, a shortcut for it is control shift backslash. So all the lines will be commented which are selected. So how do we write a do while? I wanted to print numbers from 1 to 10. So for that I need a variable called x. So I'll simply declare a variable called x and then I initialize the variable to 1 since I wanted to print numbers from 1 to 10. Now write do while. So just printing it. So system dot out dot print in x and then I have to increment the value of x. Then write a condition y. Since I need to print from 1 to 10 so I write a condition called x less than or equals to and then semicolon. So run this, run as Java application. You can see in the console numbers 1 to 10 got printed. So here the, con the point is initially x is initialized to 1 and first this x value is printed and then in the second line x value is incremented and then the condition is checked whether the x value is less than or equals to 10. If this condition is true the loop again starts. Again next x value is printed and again x value is incremented. So initially it is 1. So 1 is printed now x has become 2 and condition is tested 2 less than or equals to 10. Yes. So again the loop repeats. Now again system dot out dot print ln. So it prints two number and then increments and then the condition is tested. So this repeats as long as this condition is true. And next is while loop. The functioning of while loop is also similar to do while loop. This loop repeats a group of statements as long as a condition is true. Once the condition is false, the loop is terminated. And the syntax is while condition the statements. 
and out of do while and while which loop is efficient in a do while loop of course the statements are executed without testing the condition the first time from the second time only the condition is observed this means that the programmer doesn't have control right from the beginning of its execution in a while loop the condition is tested first and then only the statements are executed this means it provides a better control right from the beginning so we can say that while loop is more efficient than do while so let's see how to modify the same program using while loop so now instead of do while i use while and the condition is x less than or equals to 10 so int x we have initialized initially then we are saying x is 1 and and the condition is tested then the x value is printed and then x is incremented and so on so let's see what is the output of this run as java application you can see on the console all the numbers from 1 to 10 are printed so here x is initially 1 so 1 is less than or equals to 10 so 1 is printed and x is incremented now x becomes 2 again the loop repeats so 2 is less than or equals to 10 so 2 is printed x becomes 3 3 is less than or equals to 10 3 is printed and and x is now 4 and so on it repeats until x is 10 so this is something about while loop and the next is for loop so the for loop is also same as do while and while loop but it is more compact when we compare it syntactically so the for loop again executes a group of statements as long as the condition is true so basic syntax of for loop is for expression 1 semicolon expression 2 semicolon expression 3 and the statements so to understand this syntax let us take an example so first is uh, of uh, printing uh, display of displaying numbers from 1 to 10 so before that uh, when we say expression 1 expression 2 and expression 3 what are these expressions so expression 1 is basically an initialization expression and expression 2 is a conditional expression and expression 3 is a modifying expression so when i say expression 1 is initializing expression we simply say like x equals to 1 or x equals to 2 and so on and condition we write the condition within expression 2 and expression 3 is modifying that means we can either increment or dec decrement the values of the particular variables so let's see again the same example using for loop for int x equals to 1 x less than or equals to 10 x plus plus within the loop simply say x so when we run this application we could see all the numbers from 1 to 10 now the same for loop can be modified that is we can remove the conditional expression from the for loop and place it outside and run the program still we get the same output that is initial x is initialized outside now the condition is tested one is less than or equals to 2 so the condition is true so it enters the for loop and prints the value of x again the control comes back to the for loop now modifying expression will be executed now one becomes 2 x plus plus so one becomes 2 so value of again once it has become 2 now condition is checked again 2 less than or equals to 10 yes so again prints the value of x that is 2 again the control goes back now 2 becomes 3 that is x plus plus and now 3 is less than or equals to 10 is tested so the condition is true so again the value of x is printed 
and this repeats until x becomes 10. Now, can we remove this modify expression from the for loop and place it inside the for loop? Yes, we can do it. So you can see the same output. So here I removed the expression 1 and expression 3 also. Now let us try if we remove this conditional expression, what would happen? So if you look at the output, we can see an infinite loop running. So to, in order to avoid this, first we need to stop this. Come back to the program. So my problem here is initially the x value is 1. So there is no condition here. So it enters the loop and 1 is printed. So 1 becomes 2 and then again the loop repeats. So there is no condition. So that is the reason it, it is the loop is entering into an infinite loop. So in order to stop the loop, we can write a condition inside the for loop. For example, if x is greater than 10, then simply break. Break is a keyword used to come out of the loop once the condition is satisfied. So when I'm, what I'm saying here is if x is more than 10, simply come out of the loop using break statement. So just run this. So you can see the console, all the numbers from 1 to 10. So what happened here is x is 1. So 1 is printed here and then 1 became 2. So 2 is greater than 10. The condition is false. So the loop repeats. 2 is printed and 2 becomes 3. 3 is greater than 10. The condition is false. So the loop repeated. So when this condition became 2 is when x becomes 11. So 11 is greater than 10. Yes, true. So I'm saying break. So break is a command used to come out of the loop. So this is how we can write different versions of for loop. And next is. So that's all with the session. Thank you.